All right, welcome back to the channel, you guys. So this week, we're going to paint protect this beautiful R34 with the Z-Tune hood. I figured I would show you guys how we do the PPF process on this specific hood. It's, uh, it looks pretty easy, but it's kind of tricky to do. So let's get right at it, you guys. So it's all trimmed up. Yeah, it just looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Pretty simple. So we start trimming this stuff out, and 
and start wrapping it all in. But it looks pretty good, you guys. Pretty straightforward. And of course, you want to wrap in all the edges here. This is super thin. Super thin, you guys. So I'm going to finish that up and uh, we'll be right back, yes. This fender here, all the edges are all wrapped in, so it looks like it's just seamless. All the edges here, and of course up here. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Look at that, it's like nothing is there. And that's the way it's supposed to be done, you guys. And of course, we're gonna do that to this side here. wrapped it all in all the edges are laid down we're gonna go over it again just to make sure just like this when it pops up we're gonna let it dry up and then push them down and we're gonna move on to the hood and uh, there's special ways of doing these hood vents of course you want to pop these out you want to cheat around it and cut it and, uh, with this one because it's carbon fiber there's a special way to do this because there's really no lip under here to wrap. I'm gonna pop this up. You see, as you can see here, there's really nothing for it to grab onto, so we're gonna go as close as we can to the edges here. Wait, wait, wait. Get 
get the most out of here on this one first, and then. Right, so I'm going to put him on the back. That's so good. So I'm going to try and find two. Oh, he has custom of the deal. No, I'm going to go back to the other side and lift up. Yeah, I'd say we start on an album, right? So what? Yeah, you're like out of there. You're going to talk to him again. You're going to stand on the camera. It's going to be a nice good wrap around here and uh, like I said because there's not much to grab on underneath we're just going to cut it right up to here. Man, Marco's literally lost me my uh, Popeye's sponsorship now. <laughs> Sorry, about that. No, shoot, no, no problem. No, maybe he is different, right? No, I don't think it's very different. Pa Popeye's or Chick fil A? Oh, Chick fil A, bro. Chick fil A or Canes? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I don't know. I think yeah, it's Chick fil A for me. Chick-fil-A or in and out oh, in and out oh, <laughs> in and out oh, fri fries for me all day. All day. Oh, in and out I can eat every day. I would never get sick of that shit. That's what we used to do. Every time we go to Vegas, first stop, in and out. As soon as we land in an airport. Yeah, I know. Hard card joint, please. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, pretty much almost done. We just gotta throw these four pieces individually, like that, and uh, she's ready to go. You guys are probably wondering how I got this template done uh, for a car like this. Um, there's really no pre-cuts for it, so I'll show you how to do it. All right, so what you do is you take a, some pre-mask or some just masking tape, but you're just gonna have to waste a lot of it, but you have some pre-mask kicking around, 
you just go and lay it down, take the China marker and mark it off, and then take that template and then transfer it over to your PPF, and you cut your shape. It's pretty much pretty simple. Okay, so we finished the three pieces and we're on our final piece and then see how I use the template. We got a nice piece ready to go and it perfectly fits. According to the plan, you should just drop right in. Just like that.